Hello and welcome to season two of our Evacron Legacy Let's Play Poorly. Uh, I hadn't expected to come back so soon, but I was missing it. And on top of that, version 2.0408 just dropped, which has a lot of changes. And uh, I've fiddled around a little bit before recording here and discovered that a lot has changed since the last time we were here. I mean, a little bit of it appeared at the very end of the last run, but uh, there's a lot that it just now is a more holistic change overall. Uh, the main thing that I've noticed is that there's some real good graphical improvements. Uh, the main HUD has been tightened up a bit. It's not quite as blocky looking. Uh, it is much more designed now for uh, a good experience on a 1080p monitor and larger. On top of that, some of the sounds have changed. The jump sound is no longer quite so loud and it's a bit more subtle. In fact, really, that's the main thing, is that there are a lot of subtle changes in the game. It's, it's added subtlety to the game, I should say. Uh, it's quite nice. So I am here now uh, playing a mining a trading character. It's a new a new run, uh, not keeping my old stuff. I've got Fulcrum Drive, Shield, Battery, Mining and Tractor Beam. Got a Flare Beam, which is a Particle Cannon, and no secondary, uh, no second primary weapon, and I've got two missiles. I have uh, created a touch portal control uh, panel for myself, so now I have all the controls at my fingertips and I don't have to go futzing around looking at my diagrams to see where I put it on my throttle, so this should be a bit of an easier run. All right, let's see. Now, I've also made myself a Federation character this time, so... Docking track beam disengaged. I am up here. here this is the Federation area Bye. up in the corner. So since I'm a mining trading person, I need to find some things to mine and trade. Right now, uh, the nearest stuff is going to be this station, Sierra Station, and then the Sierra Planet, which looks like it's an industrial planet with that eye there. If we go over to inventory, we can take a look at news and information. These are our percentages. Planet looks like this. Let's see. They're all about middling right now. The best prices are going to be for machine, machinery and textiles. Metals as well. Metals would be even better down here. The planet surface is better because it's industrial. So maybe we do that. Uh, or we can check to see if there's got some contracts. Recover a lost item or a planetary scan. Ooh, mine material. Oxygen units. Oh, let's do that. All right. Contract connection engaged. Docking tract beam disengaged. Mercenary spacecraft, you are clear to depart for gate five. Okay, so we need to be going down here, but I do not want to land right there because, holy crap, that's going to make me impact on the atmosphere. So we're going to go right there instead. I, went, I did a whole, like, 20 minutes of this re of recording of this, ran into some so many glitches and stuff that were my fault, and then finally I ended up taking a mission like this, and I just, like, impacted in the atmosphere, and I felt like a dumb dumb. So, uh, yeah. I decided to start over. If you uh, haven't watched through my first season, uh, there's some things to know about Evacron Legacy that are really important when you uh, when you think about playing. Not important in the sense of like, oh, you need this, but things that are useful to know about this game that make it distinctive. The big one is that it really, truly, super, really, truly models inertial motion. It's the best version of this I've seen in a space sim of this caliber of this type. Certainly better than X4 Foundations, which it doesn't really do. I mean, you have an inertial, uh, you know, flight assist off mode, but you still have drag. Caution. Entering gravity field. And Elite Dangerous, uh, no. It, it really doesn't have um, real inertial. You know, even the flight assist off in Elite Dangerous still gives you. Ah, I am going to burn up. Don't want to do that. I'm going too fast. Uh, even even Elite Dangerous uh, in the flight assist off mode has issues with uh, 
with the fact that it's it's still got limited um, uh, what's the word look uh, limited um, velocity and it's got a sweet spot uh, which is very much World War One propeller plane so uh, Evercron does not do that at all Evercron really is just uh, you turn on the, the turn off the inertial dampeners and you can go pretty much as fast as you want. Burn fuel, but oh god, there's so I uh, see, okay. We've got a problem here, which is that the atmosphere. Oh my god, there's so much wind. Holy crap. I better be moving forward. I bet ah, oh, there we go. I should I definitely want to say ah, it's raining. That's my problem. We're getting oxygen here. Yeah, and that's another thing about Evercron, unlike being dangerous. When you come close to landing on the surface of the planet, you have to deal with the fact that there's atmosphere. That noise you hear, that's wind. Also, it's raining. I am I am not being weird my, with my joystick. This is literally what it's doing to me. In terms of the gameplay, um, Evacron is very similar to X4 Foundations in that it's, you know, build, trade, explore, but it has a much more um, solo game quality to it. Like, you can buy, you can rent mercenaries and things like that, rent, hire mercenaries, have them follow you around, but you're not creating fleets. It's still very much a, a solo game. Like a, I guess I would say it's a cross between Elite Dangerous and X4 Foundations. That's all I needed. Alright, let's get out of here. I think what I want to do also is uh, turn my audio down just a smidge. I didn't save it, because I'm a dumb dumb. Alright, that might be a little bit less intense. to the station. Avionics switch to space mode. As you can see, the HUD has been changed a fair amount, looking up at the top here. You can see that we no longer have the physical panel. Now it is much these sort of these HUD pop downs, uh, and on top of that, things like the compass have been improved in terms of their visuals. The numbers look a little bit clearer. The little tick mark is not quite as big. Uh, it really has uh, just like I said a lot more subtlety, which I really like. The jump sound has changed, of course. It used to be this noise, which I liked. It was very Evercron. It kind of I had that kind of that memory to it, but uh, but I like the subtlety of the new one. Smidge of money. Okay, let's refuel. What was it? Was it 
Hydrogen. 113%. That's not good. Machinery units. Okay, that whoops, that might have been okay. Hang on. 67% machinery. Yes, let's do that. Let's also just give that out. Let's go ahead and buy these. So there's machinery we bought for 60 something percent uh, of the average. I should say, yeah, it was lower than that. But uh, let's see, where do we want to sell that? We probably need to go find another station, another planet. Let's go get out. I think I may have misread that. I was looking at the station prices. But that's okay. Alright, sorry, I was looking at the planet prices. I know that there's a station up that away that we'd have to, in order to get there, we come up this way. So let's go do that. Where am I? I'm over here. All right, next up is here. Agate hub. We need to center ourselves. Right about there. No, wait, is it zero? It's at zero 180, isn't it? Not 270. I think. Agate Hub is here. Let's take a look. 91%. Uh, yeah, this isn't great either. I don't know if that's necessarily... It might be system-wide, but that's fine. Let's head over there anyway. I'm going to do a mission if we can find one. Fuel delivery. I could do something like that. Or we could transport an item. Time to race. No. Planetary scan. Okay, well. That's a cheap one. We don't make a lot of money off of that, but Contract we could do it anyway. Engaged. Okay, so. Oh, okay. Well, they want machineries. Docking track to be disengaged. Mercenary spacecraft, you are clear to depart for gate 4. Oh, please don't make me crash if I go in there. I hope I don't end up... Oh, I probably should... Mm, that might not have been the right thing to do there. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. I was worried that it was going to jump me into, like... Just slamming my face right into the side of it.
the uh, texture mapping of the capital ships has also improved. He's done some changes there, not to the textures themselves, but I think to their way they reflect and stuff. Uh, honestly, I gotta say, I think it looks better. I'm not sure exactly what I'm seeing necessarily, but I have I generally felt like the textures look, look nicer. Do I do I have forgotten what I need to do? Do I need to jettison? Contract there, yes, okay. I hope I haven't lost all of my stuff. Yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah, I jettisoned everything. Well, and then they took it. They took all of my stuff. Well, I feel a bit dumb now. That's all right. I think what I should have done is I should have come in here and done it from here. Jettisoned directly from here, rather than jettisoning all my cargo with the with the button. With the with the hotkey. Best prices are in textiles, metals. Yeah, textiles and metals. They don't have any. Okay. We have a little bit of money, just barely more than we started with. We can do some more stuff here. Intercept of an I'm not intercepting anything, not with these guns. Recover animal samples. How do you do that? It's a race distress call. They need fuel. All right, let's Contract take that one. Connection engaged. Dolphin That's an easy one. Being disengaged. Mercenary spacecraft, you are clear to depart through gate two. Let's go investigate. I am not familiar with most of those sectors at all. I'm 
because I've been I've played Alliance mostly before. Now that I'm playing Federation on the other side of the map, I'm gonna have to kind of reorient myself to things. All right, so where did we end up? Oh, well that's fun. What the heck is that? There's a moon, nebula. Oh, there's a lot of fun things out here. Okay. Let's go see what this is. All right, it's over there. Uh, I hope it's not asteroid. I bet it's asteroids. I think that's probably the new graphic for asteroids, and I'm probably gonna smash into something the minute I land. Yep, 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 yep. Get the nearest object here. Okay. Diamonds. Getting a lot more of the okay, well, now I'll get more done. I don't have the piece of equipment that lets me see what is actually in the asteroid. We're gonna have to get that as soon as we can. Let's see if I can get to 25 diamond at least. Oh, not three platinum. I think, I think that's about where we stop. Okay. Now, let's go find a place to sell it. So we got, what do we got? We got diamonds and metals. 94% diamond, 86. What about the planet? Oh, the planet's even worse. Okay, so we need to go somewhere else for those. Although, I suppose we could just straight up sell it, wherever. Yeah, it's not like, it's not like we spent any money to make that money. Let's go do that. And then see what equipment is over there that we might be able to take. Because I do want to try to beef up my ship a little bit get it to the point where I can start really doing a lot more stuff. Mercenary spacecraft, you are clear to dock through gate three. I am going to try to make this a much more, not much more chill run than the last one, because the last one was pretty chill, but I'm going to try not to make this into like a combat heavy playthrough. Alright, nearly 100k total now. We've made about 50k there. Alright, so they've got a build constructor, which we can't afford. Cargo scanners. We don't really need a cargo scanner right now. That's not what we're after. What I need is... I need a target scanner. Do they have that? They do not. They've got these... Uh, they've got... So I've got a particle cannon, and they've got a laser, but if I'm lucky, I'm not going to be getting into too much trouble with that. I think we're all right for now from here. Is there anything I want to buy? I would like to get maybe some metal or, t well, I just, yeah. metal or textiles. Textiles would be ideal. I could always just go get more metal. They do have textile units. They have a full bay here. Let's grab that. Eighty-nine. Lower at the at the planet. So. Docking tractor beam disengaged. Mercenary spacecraft, you are clear to depart. 
depart through gate three. Let's find somewhere else to unload this stuff. Let's go back to the agate hub station, uh, through that jump gate. gone through there, I think my hope is to be able to go to get to another sector and then we'll end the episode. So yeah, this is uh, probably going to be a lot of a space trucking run. Which, you know, is a nice, nice, chill, chill kind of thing. So that takes us to Sierra. Oh, wait a minute. Aren't we already in Sierra? That's the Sierra gate. Hmm. I need to get to Ares or Talison. Oh, I'm up here. I need to get down there. That's why. All right. I do think at one point I would like to get a, a higher fleet uh, so I can do some mining with a, with a fleet because you do, you do have the ability to make the command to mine asteroids. Uh, all right, let's see. That'll take us to Taliesin, and this, I bet, will take us to Ares. Yes, let's go to Taliesin. I can't get there directly. I'm going to have to go here first. Yeah, too far. Oh, I don't have enough energy. Oh, I see. Now we can go. Okay, we are now in Taliesin. So we need to head down that way, I think. It's going to take two hops. Asteroids over here too. Okay. Up two. I gotta get oriented. There.
just checking out my radar options here, different radar modes. Oh, actually, I think I might like this one much more. Oh yeah, that's much preferable for me. I don't get the verticality issue. I don't get the verticality information, but that's kind of fine. All right. Sell here. Textiles, 71% or 95. Oh, okay. I can barely make a smidge of money with this. It does look like the better prices are generally going to be on the planets right now. Some of these over here are in the better in the station, but the planet's got a whole lot of stuff that's really low if they if I have them, if they have them on site. So Okay. I think that's where we're gonna end the episode here. Uh made a smidge of money when we come back. Yeah, uh, we're gonna proceed towards improving our ship. Kind of doing the elite thing, you know, trading and mining. Uh well, mining isn't happening in elite right now, but trading, mining, bettering our ship, getting things situated, getting re-familiarized with the game, and then uh, hiring some people to join my fleet, I think, is my next job. Thanks for watching. See you next time.